And welcome back to part two of my first ever open air safari at the wilds, which is a connection of the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, their 10,000, nine or 10,000 acre spot way, way out here with all kinds of different animals, not as large of, an, of a number of animals, but a lot more space for each of the animals that they have. And they just take care of them in a completely different way. And your tour is a completely uh, different way as they lay it out. You ride for some, you get to hop off for a few times. Maybe you've seen that if you watched the last video, if you haven't, go back and check it out. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, we'll check out some more things, see what else we have to come in part two of our open air safari. Sized carnivore center, huh? Oh yeah. The painted dog. Unfortunately, they're way down there. Can't see them incredibly well. See them moving around a little bit. Hopefully they'll come up closer before we have to leave this area. A little further up here, there's a few of them tucked in their tunnels. The lighting's still just a little tough looking through that fence too, but oh, a oh, little movement there. So the dole is like the cross between a, a kind of like a wild dog and a fox. Like bigger than a fox, but smaller than a painted dog. And uh, oh, there they go. Pouncing across. Oh, look. Oh, several of them. Coming up from, oh, got something. <laughs> One right there on the fence line. And then... A few of them just wandering up here now. Let me see this guy closer. Yeah, just chilling right there. Oh, fine, fine. You going too? Run along. Okay, so it's probably only easy for me to hear, but literally it says on this did you know thing about the fact that they use like an eerie whistle to communicate. They were just doing that. And eerie is a good word for it. It was just like a screaming, creepy noise. And uh, it just sounds desperate. I mean, you're only allowed to be off the bus for 25 minutes, so I'm not even sure exactly how you're going to be able to have a sit-down meal, but they do have this up here. I'm not sure if there's probably another situation that could get you up here to be able to eat maybe some of their other types of tours. So apparently they have 13 cheetahs and 14 wild dogs on this property. Now it's hard to see all of them, but it looks like they've got a bunch of the cheetahs right up here. That's a lot of animals for this space. Not that it's too small for them, but just normally wouldn't expect that many in one location. But let's see what we can check out up here. There's a crew of them right here. Apparently what led to them having 13 of them is that they had like four cubs last October and then about six of them about two years ago. So that's 10 of their 13 were literally born here in recent years. But for the, otherwise we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, seven of them chilling right here. Then there's two more of the cheetahs over here, just kind of in a slightly separate area. And it's actually pretty cool because once you get off the bus there, you take these those winding trails that I already mentioned, and then it comes off a big boardwalk and then circles around. You can look at several of them, then you, then you just travel right on back down to the bus to give you a chance to get up, stretch out. It can be a little bumpy along the way, not as bad as the driveway itself, which is funny. The trails themselves are almost better than the parking lot and driveway area. Uh, which was incredibly bumpy or maybe it's just the shocks are better on the tour buses or whatnot uh, i don't know one, one, one way or the other not too bad but it is nice to get up and move around a little more and and uh and walk through these trails in fact here's a little better way to understand it the bus we got off down there and then you walk up this path right here and on the other side of that path on that tree next that tree over there is the african painted dog exhibit and then you kind of wiggle up through and get up into a path that takes you there along that one you look at the doles right there, come back through that building, and then you come up this one, which takes you up, and that's where the cheetahs are, just were, and then there's like a circle loop path back there that you can go, and then you come back down, and have to trickle all the way back through it all, and then there's basically just overlook points for all three of those animals, the African painted dog, uh, the cheetahs, and the doles that you can look at and see at different areas around the boardwalk. Uh, area. Oh, don't run too far away. Don't run too far away, man. Look at this guy. Yeah, come on back over. That went closest to us. Come back over. Be cool with that. Look at those cool, like, type of orcs hanging out over there. That's what the name is. Now, again, they're more valuable than the poachers of the Asian rhino you saw in the first part of the tour because they have more. Their head weighs 600 pounds. That big lump on the back of their neck, right behind their neck, that's the muscle that holds their head up. 
them fall oh off. Oh my word. Look at them. And yeah, that's the little, little guy. One right there. One of them. The little guy. Two small calves born on. That's a curve. Give a loose flap of skin under their neck. Call it a two lap. Three nose, once again. The larger turtle. The male's right there. The uh, bachelor herd. The big, huge racks of antlers. You know and the evidence of okay, the pile okay. that the rhinos always come back to to, to use the restroom. So they're at least um, organized with their mess. Yeah, for Nomad gets two meals, dinner and breakfast. Uh, dinner served between 5 and 7 at the restaurant. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh no, Bumpy. Morning. We have to stay up on the path, but the wild side tour can get way down there if you don't hit bumps still. and uh, get you a lot closer to a lot of stuff. So if you want to take advantage of the wild side tour, that's what it'll get you. Well, here's an interesting elephant fellow to greet us into the gift shop. Let's check this place out. It's kind of cool. Let's see what they got. Okay, this is kind of cool, like wild dog artwork sculpture type things carvings Ooh, that's some depth to that backpack there look at that okay 4.99 for this or 6.99 for this i mean it's nothing against the zebra but i mean like this is like textured i mean in fact yeah they've got a they've got a cheetah one and it's 6.99 too like what and then just outside of the gift shop is an overlook point where to your left you could eat in the restaurant and uh, i would say restaurant just like simple tables and whatnot with simple food but hey good price and at least you can eat there and indoors and then look out over all of this which is pretty cool pretty huge and that's going to conclude my first ever trip to the wilds here in, I believe, what is Cumberland, Ohio. Interesting time for sure. Um, the safari itself took just a little bit over two hours, but maybe two hours and 15 minutes, so between almost two to two and a half hours. And, um, and then there's some other little things that you can look at even before you jump on and even after you get on the safari bus. Interestingly enough, it's not even an incredibly warm day, and it's even a kind of an over overcast sky, which I hope doesn't make it too gloomy in the video but it's funny how even just sitting on that though you get off a few times you're actually kind of tired afterwards because it is kind of jolting not in a bad bad way but like it is kind of tiring it's not the most relaxing thing kind of bouncing around uh, a little bit but a very enjoyable time and just way more facts and information than i can even process i have to record the tour guide saying everything that he says and i'm not quite going to do that you can come and experience it for yourself and things that i'm trying to remember maybe seeing things that i'll be able to insert animal facts and different things in uh, future videos and whatnot but otherwise, all in all, a pretty cool time. Be sure to check it out. Um, I'll talk about maybe some more details, maybe some overview and review things about the overall experiences here and the opportunities that folks can have maybe in another video sometime in the future. But otherwise, that concludes our day for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time on Escape to the Zoo.